Have you ever come across an artifact from your past that triggered a journey down memory lane? Well, recently I stumbled upon a relic from the tech age, an old thumb drive. One of those antique, 1 GB storage devices we all used to hoard. Believe it or not, it was lost in my drawer sitting next to a Windows XP disk. The nostalgia hit me like a brick. It's been 84 years. And it got me thinking about my journey, how I have evolved from a teen tinkering with a budget laptop to a seasoned software engineer over the past decade. That's what I want to share with you today. But before we jump into the thick of it, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, now's the time to do so. Ready? Let's dive in. Technical skills. Remember your first ever Hello World program? Hi, my name is what? That's how most of us kickstart our tech journey and mine was no different. From Python to JavaScript, C++ to HTML and CSS, I've tinkered with it all. Learning languages is undeniably important, but understanding the core of computing, algorithms, and data structures is the real game changer. They're like the Lego pieces of our coding universe, and let's admit it, we all love a good Lego set. Over the years, I've realized that knowing languages is like knowing the words in a dictionary. They're useful, but it's the sentences you create that make the magic happen. Algorithms and data structures are the grammar that helps us construct those sentences. Grasping these fundamentals can be the difference between a haphazard mess and a symphony of codes. Stakeholder management. Being an effective programmer isn't just about writing great code. I mean, if you've developed an ingenious app but can't convey its benefits to a non-technical client or boss, what's the point? Fit, damn you, fit! <clears throat> Stakeholder management, my friends, is all about breaking down that complex jargon into a language everyone can understand. It's an art. Just like coding, trust me, translating techie talk into simple English can sometimes feel harder than debugging a complex code. But it's a skill that can make or break your professional journey. The hours spent in meetings, brainstorming sessions, and one-on-ones have taught me that clear communication is as essential as writing clean code. Ownership. Taking ownership in the professional realm isn't about shouting your achievements from the rooftops. It's about owning up to your mistakes, learning from them, and preventing a recurrence. A pivotal moment in my journey was when I brought down our live server during peak hours. Yep, you heard that right. But it taught me the importance of being thorough and double-checking every step, especially before hitting that enter. Admitting our errors doesn't make us less professional. In fact, it highlights our integrity and commitment to improvement. Sure, it might feel like a punch in the gut initially, but once you dust yourself off and correct the error, you'll emerge stronger and more skilled. Ownership, folks, is the first step towards growth. Work-life balance. Now, let's talk about the elusive work-life balance. We've all been there. Gulping down the fifth cup of coffee at 3 a.m., eyes glued to the screen, tracing a stubborn bug. Sounds heroic, right? But it's not. Continuously pushing your physical and mental limits is like playing with fire. You're bound to get burned out. Over the years, I've learned that it's essential to step away from the keyboard and recharge. Binge coding might seem cool, but it's not sustainable. Your brain, like any other muscle, needs rest to function optimally. Striking a balance between work and relaxation isn't easy, but it's crucial for your long-term productivity and health. Bottom-up innovation. Have you ever had an idea that seemed so radical, so revolutionary, that you were sure it would turn your company on its head? I have. That's what bottom-up innovation is all about. It's not just about following the established norms, but also having the courage to present your unique ideas, no matter how unconventional they may appear. Imagine if every one of us stuck to the that's how we've always done it approach. Progress would come to a standstill. Pitching an outlandish idea, seeing it evolve into something practical and impactful, is one of the most fulfilling experiences you can have as an engineer. So don't be afraid to challenge the status quo. Mentoring. Shifting to the topic of mentoring, have you ever helped someone ride a bike for the first time? It's a mix of fear, excitement, and joy, right? That's what mentoring feels like to me. Your role isn't to ride the bike for them, but to be their safety wheels until they're ready to go solo. And you know what's the best part about being a mentor? The learning never stops. It's a two-way street. I've had the privilege of mentoring many budding programmers, and each one of them has taught me something new. Remember, when one teaches, two learn. Networking. 
For the longest time, the thought of networking gave me the jitters. It's not just about swapping business cards or LinkedIn connections. It's about sharing ideas, learning from others, and forming connections that may last a lifetime. It took me a while, but I finally understood that your network is not just your social circle. It's a learning resource. Sure, networking can be uncomfortable, especially for introverts like me, but stepping out of my comfort zone and connecting with my peers has enriched my journey in ways I never imagined. So go out there, attend that tech meetup, engage in that forum, or participate in that hackathon. Your future self will thank you. Continuous learning. Lastly, let's talk about continuous learning, the secret sauce that keeps your tech journey exciting and meaningful. The world of tech is ever evolving with new languages, tools, and frameworks popping up every day. To stay relevant, you need to be a perpetual student, constantly updating your knowledge. Never get complacent, my friends. Always keep the spark of curiosity alive. Take up that online course, attend that webinar, read that latest research paper, or simply experiment with a new concept. The more you learn, the more you grow and there you have it a decade-long journey of trials triumphs and transformation it's been anything but easy but every step every stumble every success has been worth it so whether you're just starting your journey or are midway remember every expert was once a beginner did my journey resonate with yours or did i miss something you'd love to hear about share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below until next time keep learning keep growing and keep coding cheers